All right, welcome back to the NFL 2018 Draft Profile Series that we are doing right here on Fantrax. I, myself, Andy Singleton, People's Panel on Twitter, joined by the Gridiron Scholar, John Lobb. You can find him on Twitter as well, at Gridiron Scholar 91. We have been going through since Thanksgiving, John, covering all kinds of players that we can on the offensive side of the ball. We're giving you our real-world takes on them, but use them to apply it to fantasy a dynasty league in particular, how you would view these guys going into a fantasy setting. But we are giving you what we see in a real world aspect. So it, it, it can apply to a, a very diverse audience, if you will. You can go back and check everybody we've covered to this point. All offensive players, as I mentioned, quarterback, running back, wide receiver, a few tight ends. And today we're looking at another running back in this class. It's getting a lot of helium and a lot of buzz. This is a track guy. This is a speedster. This is a gadget guy. I'm talking about North Carolina State's Naheem Hines. John, are you enamored or intrigued by what you see from the diminutive speedster? You know, Andy, you, anyone who watches our videos knows I'm a very positive person, and I always look on the upside, especially with prospects, and in, even in my life with my students and my friends. But, you know, I am not overly ecstatic about Naheem Hines. I've seen him rated, Andy, among the top eight prospects by some very good NFL draft experts. I am absolutely shocked by this. I'm very unimpressed by his film. He's only 5'8", 198 pounds, and this is not my original research, but I'm going to refer to it. Out of like the top 10 runners in the NFL in the last five seasons, 38 of the 50 were over 215 pounds. 215 pounds seems to be a very important benchmark to the weight of a successful NFL running back. Obviously, there's Darren Sproles and James White, but when you have a player who's a, under a 200 pounds, it very much concerns me. I've also watched a lot of his film. So, he was impressive this year with 197 carries for 1,113 yards and 12 touchdowns. The production was there for North Carolina State. Now, why people, I think, are even more ecstatic, Andy, he recorded the best 40-yard dash at the Combine among running backs. He, he ran a 4-3-8. But my research and what I've seen out of running backs, you don't have to break the 4-4 to be a, a Pro Bowl-level superstar running back. Remember, we look for size-adjusted speed, and we're looking for bigger backs I'd rather have a guy who's 220 and runs like a 4-4-8, <clears throat> much more than a smaller player. Where he might make a difference in the NFL is on special teams. He returned 88 kickoffs in his career for 2,171 yards and two touchdowns for the Wolfpack. So he's a very good special teams player. I was actually disappointed in his three-cone drill time and his 20-yard shuttle. For a player that smart who looks that elusive on film, those are not spectacular times especially when you consider size and weight. You would hope for better times. As an example, Nick Chubb outperformed Naheem Hines by a huge stretch, Andy, in the three-cone drill and the 20-yard shuttle, let alone the size that Chubb has as a player. Now, you're right. He was a two-sport star in college. He was a member of the Wolfpack's 4-by-100-meter relay team. So the clear speed is there. But, Andy, you watch a lot of NFL football, as I have also. It is rare that a running back is going to get an open lane and just explode 20 yards down the field. There's going to be traffic. There's going to be safeties closing on him, and the linebackers are going to be there. So you're not going to get to use that track speed as often as he did in college in the NFL. Now, he does possess that big playability. You see some huge home runs at North Carolina State. On film, he's got very good quickness and top-end speed, but you don't. the combine was not reflective of that at all. I think it was a little bit of the scheme at North Carolina State. They did a very good job of getting them in space, as well as the level of competition. He just did not see the speed at that level that he's going to in the NFL. He does flash elusiveness, and he locates the holes in the defense. I do like because he plays with a little toughness, and he employs a stiff arm, and he is difficult to tackle in the open field. In order to be successful, he's going to need a very creative offensive coordinator like Josh McDaniels in New England or Sean McVay with the Los Angeles Rams because he does have some potential. But this lack of size is going to affect him. He only averaged 5.4 yards a carry in his college career. Again, that's below my benchmark. And I do not think he'll ever be able to handle more than 15 touches a week in the NFL. I have a much lower grade on him than some of the scouts who I respect. I think he's a six-round draft pick in the NFL. I have my concerns about him holding up to the rigors of the professional game. Yeah, you mentioned his returning acumen, but we're looking at him as a running back. And this is the gadget guy. A track star with track speed, and you see it. But can he get to it is the question. I hear a lot of people say he's too small to be an NFL running back at 5'8", 200 pounds. And then when you consider that's exactly how big Maurice Jones-Drew was, you know it can be done. 
but that's when you also remember how special MJD was, and that's when you see running styles and body types that vary. Jones Drew was listed at 205, while Hines measured 197 at the combine. But those eight pounds were held very differently. Where one was squatty and used his size for leverage, the other looks lean and doesn't get under his weight with any power. He is a track guy, and he is also a legit football player, only he looks more like a track guy. On different levels, it reminds me of Marquise Goodwin going to Buffalo on the hopes they could harness and convert that speed into a route runner. So far, I would say that hasn't equated to a third-round pick's value. Now, Hines is in a similar situation only as a runner. He's going to have to show some of that power, which I just don't see. Now, there is a role for that speed in an offense, but as John was saying, it's going to take a special coach and or coordinator to utilize it. I like Hines, but as I said to start this, he is the gadget guy of this class, and that is not something I would invest in personally. But are you the high guy on Hines? Let us know in the comments below. Tell us how you're viewing Naheem Hines in this draft class in comparison to the other running backs. Go back and check out the other running backs we've covered, as well as quarterbacks, wide receivers, and even a few tight ends we've looked at so far. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Please give a look to our sponsor, rotoware.com. Hi, I'm Al Higgs. The spring sales event is now on at Higgs Price Dodge Ram. It's time to get a slam.